we are going to be making some Valentine's theme candles. So I actually wasn't going to make a video this DIY Sunday because I have been so sick in the last few days, but I got my things together yesterday. I felt a little bit better and I came up with this DIY for you guys. So I hope you will like this and let's begin. I will be reusing some of my candles from my current collection and some I've used slightly. This is a good time to recycle those old candles you have at home and give them a new look. Other items you might need are some containers and 9 inch wicks. You might be able to reuse the ones in the unused candles but I find that the longer wicks come in handy for this particular project. You will also need some soy wax flakes. Since I will reuse some of my used candles, I will need to clean off the burnt wicks with a paper towel. To start, you first need to melt your wax. I like to melt my candles in hot boiling water. Heat the candles starting from room temperature water. I don't recommend using a microwave as most candle wicks use a metal base. So be careful for those sparks. I'm melting the colors I want to use which are red, medium pink, and light pink. While the wax is melting, glue your candle wick to the bottom of your glass container. I like to use E6000 to do the job because it bonds metal and glass together pretty well. Once the candles are completely melted, take the darkest shade and slowly pour it into your container. Be careful as the wax is very hot. I like to pour my melted wax into a warm Pyrex cup first, then slowly pour again into the container. I couldn't find my Pyrex cup at the moment, so as you can see, I improvised with a folded sheet of paper. After pouring the first color, make sure the wax cools completely before adding in your next color. To prevent the rest of the wax colors from solidifying, keep them in hot water while doing this. For every color and layer, repeat the same steps as before. My first attempt is the candle on the right side and as you can see if you don't have any patient like I did, the wax will just melt together and mix. So it's very important to wait for each layer to completely cool down. If you follow to the step by step, you should end up with something like this. To make the whipped cream effect that I used on top of my parfait or sundae, all you have to do is use the same technique I used in my hot cocoa candle DIY. Now if you haven't seen that video, I will link it below here. Basically all I did was melt the soy wax slightly so that way it could still stay chunky and then I topped it on top of the rest of the candle. After that, I cut half a straw and stuck it into the sundae. Now be careful with this. This one is paper, so this can catch on to the flame. This is just for decoration purpose only. So I would suggest for you to get a plastic straw or something else. Next, I drizzled on some strawberry wax and this looks just like strawberry syrup. It looks so delicious. I want a sundae right now. In fact, I think I'm going to have a sundae after I finish completing this video. So that is basically it. Make sure you thumbs up if you want some more yummy creations or if you're all for creativity. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And also, if you will be recreating this, don't forget to refer people back to YouTube and or Shine so that way we can spread the love, share the love, so that way everybody can know how they can make this themselves. And also hashtag life and style. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.